From taking care of the kids to managing the household, plus all of the extra stuff that we have to juggle, like school, sport, health, social, all of that stuff, we have a lot on our plates as parents. One of the daily non-negotiables for most of us is preparing meals and snacks. And whether it's first thing in the morning when you're feeling really sleepy, but still kind of feeling rushed, trying to get everybody ready for the day, um, or at the end of the day when everyone's exhausted and hungry, cooking another meal can feel really overwhelming. But having a well-organized kitchen can make life so much easier because when your space is clutter free and you can find everything you need quickly and easily, it all just seems to flow more smoothly and the job doesn't feel as difficult. So with that in mind, let's make things a little more smooth by organizing your kitchen so you can enjoy cooking and keep your kitchen clean and tidy the easy way. So the first step is to declutter and organize your cupboards. I know it feels like, you know, it's going to be too hard, don't bother, but decluttering doesn't have to be a big deal. You can just do each cupboard one by one. Do one shelf at a time if you want to. Just take out the things you don't use. You'll know it when you see them and donate those, right? You just go through, take them out, stick them in a bag, put them in the boot of your car. And then everything else, you just pop it back in neatly so that everything has a proper place where it belongs and it's going to go there every time. Now, once you've decluttered your cupboards, Organizing them in a way that makes sense to you is kind of the magic step. So you want to set things up by category, like plates, glasses, bowls, but make sure the items that you use the most are on the shelves that are the easiest to reach. And the things that you don't use much, but you do use, like Christmas platters, for example, you only get them out once a year. So you can keep those at the back of the cupboard on the higher shelves. Things like kids' cups, plates, drink bottles, you can keep them lower if you want to encourage your kids to get their own drinks and snacks and help you in the kitchen. Or if you don't want them to, put them up higher. (laughs) Okay, the next step is to treat your kitchen as a dedicated workspace. So your kitchen, it's not just there to hold your food and utensils. It's there for a daily purpose and a process. So Think about the tools that you use the most when you're cooking and make sure that they're ready to use when you need them. So things like knives, chopping boards, pots and pans, the ones that you find yourself using again and again every day, they should be really easy to grab and take out and then put back without having to kneel down and hunt your way through the cupboards. When you can grab and go easily, this helps you cook more efficiently, which also reduces the time that you spend looking for the tools and utensils that you're using. So have a little look at how your cupboards are set up. Are the things that you use the most the easiest ones to get out? Okay, the next step is clever storage solutions. Using storage tools can help you keep your kitchen clean and tidy and items like drawer dividers, turntables and tiered shelf extenders can help you make the most of the space that you have and keep everything organized. So drawer dividers, for example, they help you keep your utensils organized and they stop that whole jumble up of your drawer where you then have to kind of like run your hands through everything to find it. Turntables, they help you store and reach items that are deep in the back of your cupboard or if you've got like a cupboard with a corner and you want to put something in the corner a turntable is really handy for there. Tiered shelf extenders are my favorite because they help you store canned foods in a step format right step by step by step and that way you're using the typical dead space that sits above the tinned foods on your pantry shelf and it allows you to store up to three times the amount and still see everything you have at a glance. You can open your door, look at your pantry space and see all of the tin foods that you have. Okay, so that's three steps. Now you can actually enjoy cooking in your kitchen. So do some fun stuff. Play some music while you're cooking or wash the dishes. Um, Well, you have to wash the dishes, but play some music while you're washing the dishes. Put things away as you're using them so that you don't have a big mess to tidy up after dinner. Wash as you go and enjoy the extra chill time that you'll have now that your kitchen is organized and easier to keep tidy. Okay, I hope you found those tips helpful. If you're ready for next steps in organizing your home and your life the easy way, you might want to check out my popular house and family binder. It's a simple set of prints to help you get organized and run your household without stress or overwhelm. And I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.